Hey Fit Lifer, Drew Canoli, remember we're in this together. Today it's Table Thursday. Today's topic is centered around what's happening in New York right now. Mayor Bloomberg is basically trying to ban all sugary drinks over 16 ounces. You know, that can go for anything from sodas, different types of coffee. So businesses should not be allowed to sell these types of beverages. And the ban should be happening, I believe June 9th is the expected date. So my question to you is, what do you think about this ban? I don't think people should be banned from what they wanna do. If I wanna have a Coke and it's 32 ounces, I'm gonna drink 32 ounces of Coke. But at the same point, I think a lot of people are misled and misguided by these huge for-profit corporations that put certain things in these drinks that you don't really know what's in it. Now, would I drink a, a Coke? No, I don't drink soda. I used to. <laughs> cherry coke all day long back in the day but not anymore once I figured out what was in it I stopped if you're drinking soda I think it's important to just slowly trickle down and kind of get rid of it there's a ton of sugar in it sugar is a, a drug and it's blended some of these sodas actually have salt in it as well so from my understanding when you combine sugar and salt it sends a signal to your brain that says you need more of it in conclusion should these sodas be banned in New York? People just need to take personal responsibility. And it starts small. You know, it, it all adds up. Even one piece of bread is an extra 100 calories. Soda, the same thing. Those calories add up. So we as people need to start making the right choices. And it's the small choices that add up. It's the small steps. You may not know, you know, 90 days from now what you really want your body to look like in this transformation but you know you want it to change. So make one step each day. Make it a small step and continue to push on and push forward until you hit your goal. I'm Drew Canoli. Remember, we're in this together. I'll see you next Thursday. Now what we need a ban on is these companies to let people know what's in these drinks and what it does biochemically once it's inside of you. I think it's important. A lot of people are misled out there. There's all types of information and people don't know where to turn to. So I propose we put a ban on these companies just free marketing their products without really letting people know what's inside of them.